When we take a, a plant-based bag or shoe into America, for example, we're taxed at 30 percent. We have a 30 percent taxation. Leather has none. But if you put a sliver of pig leather onto that same product, your tax is removed. So you're penalized, basically. We should be getting a 30 percent tax break for, for doing a, a, you know, a vegan product. And actually, leather products should have a hit. It's, you know, so it's all sort of backwards. So you've got to incentivize young businesses, I think. You've also called for governments to give out more regulation. What would you like to see them doing? Well, we need policy set in place. I mean, we have no policy. We have no restrictions in fashion. If you look at the automobile industry, they've got hard hitting timelines that they have to you know, achieve to become electric or they get fined. We have nothing like that. We need some kind of policy in the fashion industry just to encourage us to do the right thing. You've talked about other fashion designers. Does it frustrate you when other companies don't follow suit? No, I look, you know, I don't get frustrated. I'm really of the, of the, the mindset of infiltrating from within. My business partner is LVMH. They're one of the biggest fashion, you know, conglomerates in the world. And yet today they're funding this regenerative cotton farm um, program in Turkey. So I really believe that if we give people information, if I can say, look, this is my non-leather bag, my non-leather boot. I still have a business model. I'm still here as a viable business. We can do this together. We can slowly start kind of, you know, introducing a better business. You've had Jeff Bezos here at COP26. Like many multinationals, Amazon's been accused of greenwashing. What do you say to that? What's your take on that? There is a huge amount of greenwashing going on and it, that's very sad. And I think the level of transparency and authenticity is so critical right now. You know, if people are saying stuff, they better be being honest. And if they are, then good, because something is better than nothing. What do you feel, Stella, about movements like Extinction Rebellion? Do you feel that their anger and the chaos that they cause dilute the message? No, I think that, great. You've got to scream to be heard. You don't just sit politely and go, oh, I can have a conversation about pollution, please. It doesn't do that unless you're like a, you know, a privileged person that can get in the room. You know, these kids, it's great they're fighting for their right to have a planet to live on.